Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl finding on Google back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Many of you have been asking for us to react to Sadhguru. So here's a video from Sadhguru. And thank you to everyone that has subscribed to our channel. Uh, for newcomers, welcome. For those retaining, welcome back. Please keep liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And keep giving us stuff to react to. So today, I'm going to be reacting to Sadhguru's latest bold speech on world peace, mystics of India. Also, you can find us on Instagram and Facebook as Fanny and Jesse. Uh, just head there, say hi, we'll say hi back, suggest stuff they will look into it and react to it. You can find our second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Just head there, subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. There are 62 industries in the world who manufacture that caliber of bullet. I will give you the address. Will you go and lock them up? No. You will go to the war zone and pick up a child and do drama. If you can't transform the human being, at least you must defang him, isn't it? We have no intent of stopping the war. Let's be clear about that. When it happens to us, we will cry. When it's happening somewhere else, it's drama. Almost every nation has invested enormous amount of money in building and stockpiling arms, armaments, bombs, missiles, smart bombs. I don't know how a bomb can be smart. It's the dumbest thing to do. See, at least uh, if I pick a fight with you with a sword or a stick or something, there is some crude animalistic pleasure attached to it. A thousand people are sitting here, you just drop a bomb, all of them died. I don't know what is smart about that. But they are talking about smart bombs, where they are saying from two miles in the sky, they can drop the bomb into your house through the window. So all of us as people, were we all thinking, all these bombs are being kept for entertainment, for display or it's artwork, what did you think? One day it will be used. The question is on whom? So when it is piling up, we are all okay with it. In every movie, there is no movie without a bomb or a case of smashed face. We are all enjoying it. When it really happens, we say, oh, I saw it, I saw it. It doesn't work like that. Yes. Wars are almost inevitable because economies are built on war. Without war, a lot of people cannot survive. The largest industry on the planet is arms and armaments. This happened, I was at the World Economic Forum. At that time, the Sudanese war was going on, you know, terrible war. Over uh, 2,600,000 people died, out of which 50% were children below six years of age. Can you beat it? At that time, some, uh, you know, movie stars and others are going there and carrying one, you know. An African child is always a trophy. You carry this child and take photo ops and all this is happening. And they showed a video where all these uh, militants or soldiers or whatever you want to call them, they're just going in these pickup trucks, simply shooting at the sky, okay? I said, see, if I have a fight with you, at least I need to shoot you. If I'm shooting the sky, that means I have abundant supply of, uh, of bullets, isn't it? Otherwise, I won't be shooting the clouds. I said, see, somebody is supplying them plenty, all right? Otherwise, nobody will shoot at the sky. I said, there are 62 industries in the world who manufacture that caliber of bullet. I will give you the address. Will you go and lock them up? No. You will go to the war zone and pick up a child and do drama. All you need to do is, if you take away the bullets, once that runs out, uh, maybe they will hack each other. But you can't kill that many hacking. At least, if you can't transform the human being, at least you must defang him, isn't it? If transformation is possible, fantastic. If that is not possible, at least his empowerment, you should bring it down, isn't it? So, we have no intent of stopping the war. Let's be clear about that. When it happens to us, we will cry. When it's happening somewhere else, it's drama. This inhuman attitude towards war and to killing and the suffering that other people go through, we must come out of that. Because most evil things have happened, not necessarily because of evil intentions, simply apathy. You sleep through life. That is what is happening to the world, both in terms of soil and in terms of war. We sleep through. After World War II, we formed League of Nations. We made United Nations. The idea was never again such wars will happen, right? Since then, how many wars? Actually, if you look at it, there's not been a single day's break 
on this planet after World War II without at least a battle going on somewhere. We are not saying we are not in such a la-la land that we don't have any issues. We have issues. But this is the idea of setting up a platform which would solve problems. <laughs> we have pushed it to the side and doing what we want. So how do we wake up? First thing is, within your hearts, your anger and hatred must go. I must tell you this, I used to attend a lot of world peace conferences at one time. Then I saw, for a whole lot of people, this conference hopping itself is a profession, they're making a living out of it. I'm the only idiot sitting there thinking we are working for world peace. So I was in a, a very prominent conference, 42 Nobel laureates were participating and a few ex-heads of state and all that stuff. Because when they are head of state, they will do war. After they retire, they will talk peace. Then my turn to speak came and I said, see, uh, in the last three days I have heard so many bombastic speeches about creating world peace. But I am asking you sincerely, how many of you can place your hand on your heart and say, your mind is peaceful? Because if your mind is not peaceful, if you can't make your mind peaceful, making the damn world peaceful is out of question because what you are seeing in the world is a larger manifestation of what's happening in human minds, isn't it? If there are you no know, human beings on this planet, world is peaceful, isn't it? That was the last world peace conference I went to. So like, uh, let us make the wish to make our minds peaceful globally and I think all governments do. No, this is the whole thing. We can't make everybody's mind peaceful. You can make yours peaceful, I can make mine peaceful, she can make hers peaceful. This is the only way it works. If this one and this one does not solve their problems, the world's problems are never gone. It will manifest in so many ways. big shout out to the person that suggested this um this was a great video to start with and it's talking about real life situations you know you have to think about it if you your pers if you yourself are not a good person how do you expect the world to be great you have to be first find peace within or whatever you have to find first come to terms with your situation be that good person then only can you um, put out that energy from you, you know, all that good that you have in your heart or your soul will reflect out there when you go out there. Stop hating one another, and if you don't sort out situations, this is why, even if you're a good person, but there's that one thing at the back of your head, it's always going to come back. As long as you meet on the streets and you haven't sorted out your issues, there's always going to be some sort of drama. And I like the fact that he said this is a business. That's what people should realize, it's a business. While people are making money off it, others are suffering. But then why? Why should you be comfortable making money from such a situation if others are actually suffering from it? Another point he made was how the African child is always a trophy. And indeed, even if a, some sort of disease virus comes out, going to be an African that's going to be the face of that when that person really has no affiliation or, or with that disease you know and whatever the situation that's why he's talking about these big big people it can be celebrities it can be people in the government they're going to take pictures with all these that have nothing to do with what's going on stop doing that leave the African child alone you can pick up your own children and show them don't always rush to show African or minority groups in such a small manner. Stop it. It's not right. And yeah, let me know what you guys actually think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.